Denrele and Ayola star as lovers in TV series Everything in Between. You remember? <laughs> you want one? Ah, come on, T and Jimmy go hand in hand. <laughs> the premiere of Everything in Between, a new drama series which tells the story of three young professionals, Emma Okoye, Dana Elliott and Demola Ogunjimi, and the struggle to confirm to what is considered the norm in the Nigerian society, was held at the IMAX Cinema's Lekki Lagos. The series see Den Relay play an intimate role with singer and actor Ayola, amongst other engaging attractions. The Nigerian series was produced by Oshonye Raka and stars Zara Udofia Ejo, Linda Osifo, Ayola, Daniel F. Young and Derele Ejo. Check out moments from the premiere. Uh, a sacred life as, you know, she's a lesbian. Her family doesn't know, her colleagues don't know, her friends don't know and she's shocked when her husband is blackmailing her with that, you know, aspect of her life. They say love can be found in unexpected places let me love you the way you truly deserve to be loved I love you I feel blessed to be a part of, the, of this work because it's a sensitive story right one that we shouldn't kick under the carpet because because of our um, religion because of our foundation our origin as Africans you know so I'm I, just watch just watch it just watch it let me put it to you this way you are a sperm donor, and you are getting laid while at it. You don't want to know what I am willing or capable of doing. Dad? I play Anthony, the guy who falls in love with Emma, but Emma just wants to use him to get pregnant. So he has to come to terms with that. So what we will find out if, is if Anthony will have his way and continue with this love relationship with Emma, or if Emma will have her way and just have a kid by him. Adama has become a cheerful giver, generously distributing herself left, right, and center. Remember. <laughs> you want one? Ah, come on, my OT and Jimmy go hand in hand. <laughs> Scratch that. When I get scripts, I know as an actor, you're supposed to like read the entire script, but I was just looking for my own parts. But you know, whilst looking for my parts, a lot of the lines were jumping at me from other scenes. And I said to myself, wow, I need to read this. So I sat down and read the entire season. And I was so engrossed. And you know, I really did play a character that was totally unlike me. Because the character wasn't perfect. Very young, nerdy, plenty acne. It was towards the end that, you know, when my acne cleared, I said, oh, he don't clear up. It's everything in between. Uh, lovely. It was well thought out. Why? What I what I thought most about it was the fact that this is actually the true life story, stories of different people in Nigeria. Whether you like it or not, these are issues that are going on at the moment. Um, issues of pressure, issues concerning sexuality. It's happening, whether we like it or not. Let me put it to you this way: You are a sperm donor, and you are getting laid while at it. You don't want to know what I am willing or capable of doing. I play the character Jimmy in everything in between, and he's um, a human rights activist. His sexuality was not actually known. He's straight, basically, but we didn't get to see that um, in this premiere. But then his his um, his his job, his duty, is fighting for you know people that um, are being um, minimized in the society, people that are being um, disaffected and um, stuff. Remember. <laughs> you want one? Ah, come on, my OT and Jimmy go hand in hand. Demola <laughs> is a um, homosexual man in this film and it was quite a challenge for me to take up the role and interpret it properly because um, this is, um, I'm, I'm taking myself far away from who I am or who I would usually be on a normal day. But then that's the beauty of an actor's job. You tend to, you're, you're supposed to take up a role and empathize with the characters you play and um, portray them as though it was your life. Scratch that. Adama has become a cheerful giver, generously distributing herself left, right, and center. Um, the executive producers approached me and wanted a series that will preach a lot of messages, not just about sexuality, but equality, about societal pressures on a 
whole lot of grounds, uh, pressure to get married, pressure to conform to society. And um, we came up with the character. I, I, I put Sleepless Nights and created the series, came up with the characters, and um, we went straight to work. It took a, a year from inception down to um, post uh, pre-production, production and post-production to get this done. Let me put an end to this abomination called the South. Your queen shake me free. Oh, she be free. He was upset. He didn't understand. What secret is she keeping? She's a lesbian. 